thought to myself, this is it. This is the night I'm going to know. Because here I am, Canyon de Chez with the elders, the ancient people, the stars are on my face. It, everything was just right for getting the answer. So I'm, I made that inquiry. I said, what, what is, where am I? Who am I? What is going on here? That kind of, you know, existential demand. And I laid there watching the sky for, must have been hours because the constellations had shifted over to another location. And finally, probably close to dawn, I heard this voice from out of nowhere. And I'm making no claims about who that was. <laughs> None of whatsoever. But the voice said, it was a male voice, probably my dad. Uh, it said, <laughs> you will never know. And I was so overjoyed because I kind of knew I would never know, but I had, I need to be told I would never know. <laughs> and what relief it was to be, just take the journey for the sake of the journey and for the, the joy that I was finding in community and in meditation and in cooking for the community, all the other things I did while I was part of the community for 40 years, I did every job. <laughs> I've done everything, baked bread, I've weeded, I've <laughs> repaired broken things. I've done all these things like a thousand armed Quan Yin with each one has a tool. <laughs> you get to do <laughs> a thousand things in your life. And that's yeah. what that is, you know, that's a slow motion <laughs> of your life and just to have that core question settled mm. i think would i would say for me that was what what of anything came of all that silent sitting or just sitting or just listening just just being mm. in a place and and being curious mm. 